Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Carpo here, back again with another Fallout 76 video. And in today's video, we're going to be bringing you some exciting news coming to the world of Fallout. We have some huge updates that was just stated by Bethesda not too long ago, covering stash limitations, stash increase, and a whole bunch of other things that we've been waiting for right here in Fallout 76. But as always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, smash that thumb up button, leave a comment down below, and stay up to date for more Fallout 76 videos. Now let's get started. Now Bethesda has released a statement on Reddit earlier today and it was called communications moving forward. Now, I will leave a link down below if you want to take this out yourself, but if not, let me tell you exactly what they said. They went on to say, we know you're frustrated and angry at the state of things right now, whether it's the issues you're running to in the game or the lack of communication about fixes, updates, or news. To be clear, this account is ran by us, Bethesda Game Studios community team. Yesterday, we posted to let you know that we're still here gathering your feedback and more importantly, working to get info from the team that we can share. We didn't want you to think that silent meant nothing was happening. We're sorry and understand that that wasn't the right approach. And we'll make sure that further going farther, we'll get that bridge better between us and the dev team here at Bethesda Studio. Now we're posting an article today that has further information about the upcoming updates that we're mentioning a few weeks ago. In addition, we're aiming to let you know the pat note for these updates quicker and we'll have them available for December 4th update later this week, probably Thursday or Friday. Now we would like to make these articles weekly and make sure you have all of everything that you need to know about the studio and what they're working towards and how it relates to you and the issues you may be experiencing with as far as quality of life requests and new features that we're exciting to share. Please take a look below to see what we're posting today on follow.com as well as let us know if you have any thoughts or feedback. This article covers high level issues being worked on as patch notes will go to leave at what is being fixed in the future updates. So this is great news and a great start for Bethesda Game Studios to start communicating more with the community and addressing the community issues and moving forward hopefully we can get a lot of things done. Now for the next big update on December 4, 2018 it says next week's update will bring an increase to the stash limit as well as a variety of performance and stability improvements, balance changes and multiple bug fixes to the game. We'll have full pack notes available later this week ahead of Tuesday's update. Some notable issues being addressed in this update include 1. The stash limit increase. We know many of you have been asking for the adjustment of stash storage limit and we're happy to share that we're increasing it from 400 to 600. That's a full 200. That's pretty nice. While this is somewhat conservative, we we'll plan to increase the storage cap further once we verify that this change will not negatively affect the stability of the game. Now for the second part, the boss loot. Players should correctly receive two to three items after taking down boss, depending on the creature's difficulty and level. Now for the cryolator effects. Players hit with the cryolator are now chilled, frosted, or frozen, depending how many times they are hit. The duration of movement, speed, reductions applied by these effects has also been decreased from two hours to 30 seconds. Now responding when overcomer. We resolved the issue that was affecting players who died while Overcomer that allowed them only to respond at Fault 76. Now Overcomer players will be able to respond at the nearest Discover map marker. So this will absolutely kill off some of the glitches that we haven't seen but we will see what type of effects it will have going further. Next we have Stuck in Power Armor. We've addressed an issue in this patch that could cause players to become stuck inside Power Armor. We're also aware there are some additional cases this can occur and we are actively investigating them. So yes, these are some of the changes that are coming on the December 4th update very very soon and it is a pretty nice update. Now like I said previously, will this affect the carry weight glimmage? I'm not sure. Will this affect the Infinity XP glitch. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Now for the December 11th big update. 
on December 11, 2018. The next update after the December 4th update is currently planned for the following week. Like previously patches, it will include a variety of bug fixes, but we're also planning to bring some more notable changes and features to the game. You can catch a preview of these improvements below, as well as a full list of changes that will be included in the December 11th patch notes. Now first off, the PC editions. A push to talk setting for voice chat. 21 Nine resolution will have its support, and a field of view settings are all being implemented on PC with this update. Now, the special respect yes, we will have a special respect. After level 50, you will be able to choose between a new perk card or moving a special point you had previously allocated. Now, for your camp placement on login. Now, your camp will no longer be automatically blueprinted or stored if someone is occupying your location when you log into a server. Instead, you will see a notification that your space is occupied. Now, if you decide to find a new home for your camp on that server, it will be free to do so. However, if you don't attempt to place down your camp, you will be able to switch to a new server where that spot is vacant and your camp will be fully assembled and waiting for you. That is pretty awesome and that is a game changer. That, that's a great addition. Definitely listen to the community. And last but not least, we have Bulldozer. Now this is a new camp feature that will allow you to move small trees, rocks, and other obstructions so it is easier to create a place for your camp when and where you want to. And you can have the bulldozers to clear these items from the surrounding area to make your camp feel more like home so we don't have to worry about you know looking at that spot that you was like ah, I would love to place that there but I just can't it's too much stuff there now you can't this is what I'm talking about they're definitely listening to the community have a lot of bugs still have a lot of bugs but hey they are working towards the future and that is a great thing now they went ahead and ended it by saying thank you and please don't stop letting us know how we can improve our communication and what else that we can do to address the game once we finalize the patch notes for the December 4th update we'll be sure to post them right here on reddit and all the patch notes and weekly updates going forward so that is pretty much for this huge update that is coming two patches December 4th and December 11th oh yeah and by the way I'm using a new mic so if let me know down below definitely how the new mic sound because I uh, definitely want want to know what your feedback is on that if not if you don't like the way it sounds I'm already gonna get uh, a new new mic but this is one that I already had and I uh, just want to use it and you know just want to put that out there let me know down below if you like the new mic and that's pretty much going in it for this video. So if this has helped in any way possible, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And leave a like. You know, comment down below if you have something to say about the new update. There is a lot of changes. And if you love Fallout 76 or just starting, you know, you're starting to get to learn the game. This is definitely a step in the right direction. And as always, if you're returning, thank you for everybody that has been here and giving me all the support and commenting. I truly do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. You know, this is a great place uh, for Fallout 76 videos, Red Dead Redemption, and a whole lot of other good stuff too. And as always, I will see y'all in the next video. Later.